Okay, welcome to Visual Studio 2005 Express Tutorial, Part 2. Uh, we'll be talking about the Screensaver Starter Kit and many other starter kits. Uh, my name is Wade Harvey and there are over 700 programming training videos that are available at uh, idealprogrammer.com. So I encourage you to go there and look for other programming videos. In this tutorial we're, we're going to uh, start out by looking at how to find other starter kits uh, for Visual Basic. A, st a starter kit uh, just allows you to have a full-blown application to start out with to jump start your coding in Visual Basic. It's got a lot of documentation with it and you just extend it a little bit. The second thing we're going to look at is uh, running RSS, uh, that stands for Really Simple Syndication Screensaver uh, Starter Kit. Uh, we're just going to run the original uh, screensaver uh, starter kit. Then we're going to modify the title on the screensaver and rerun the screensaver. The fourth thing, we'll use the options panel to modify the background images uh, for the screensaver. And uh, fifth, we'll in install the screensaver on our computer. Okay, let's get started. To load uh, a Visual Basic uh, Express Edition that we installed in the previous tutorial, we click on Start, and then it's under All Programs. And uh, I put mine in a folder called uh, uh, Microsoft Miscellaneous. I just got a VB icon uh, in blue there. So you click on that. Okay, it's brought up the uh, the screen. Here's what it looks like. So the first thing we need to do is uh, show you how to find other starter kits. Uh, yeah. So I clicked on File, New Project. Two starter kits come installed with Visual Studio. These are my movie collection starter kit and a screensaver starter kit. To find other uh, starter kits, you go down to My Templates and you see this icon Search Online Templates. You click on that, double click it. It'll bring up the help screen and you enter uh, Starter Kit. in the uh, search bar. Click enter. And it'll bring up uh, several for MSD Online. You click on MSD Online which is Microsoft uh, Development Network and the first one that comes up is interesting. This is starter kits for mobile devices. So a starter kits a full-blown application that allows you to uh, get jump start your Visual Basic coding process. So, uh, here's the first one that comes up for uh, download. These are uh, for the cell phone the application. You, uh, this is a game. The next one's a home uh, screen alarm plug-in. Tic Tac Toe game, some kind of uh, uh, scheduling thing, calendar, another game, and so forth. So those are for the mobile. Uh, for if you want to write VB for your mobile phone, which would be pretty cool, I would think. Third one under MSDN is starter kits and power packs, and here's where you would download other uh, uh, starter kits for Visual Basic. They have uh, four categories uh, for Windows Forms applications. These are things that run on your desktop. Visual Web uh, Developer starter kits. These are what run on the web. And they have other starter kits and power packs. So we'll scroll down. The first one is uh, uh, Amazon enabled movie collection starter kit. So this would allow you to 
organize your movies at your house. Uh, that would be a good project to demonstrate. Here's a card game uh, starter kit. Here's if you develop shareware, you can uh, create a product key. That one. Here's a teacher starter kit where you, teachers can track the grades of their students. Here's a web log analyzer starter kit. That would be another good application to demonstrate on the tutorial. Then we get to the web developer starter kits. Here we have a club website starter kit, an eBay selling starter kit, PayPal enabled start, commerce starter kit. I've uh, done that uh, personal website starter kit. I've created that. And time tracker starter kit. I've used that. And there are the other starter kits. But you get the idea. That's how you download other starter kits. So now let's go back to Visual Basic. Close that window. Go up here to the uh, click on file again. And click on new project. We want to open the uh, screens, load the screensaver starter kit. So I double click on that. It's going to load it into this uh, page. It's called an IDE, Integrated Development Environment. The page that loads here in the center is a very important one. It gives great documentation on this starter kit, pretty much covering what we're doing in this video. So if you get lost, you can read there. Let's go over the integrated development environment. Here's the Solution Explorer window. That's where the files that are involved in your application are show up, in, like in an Explorer window that you normally are used to. Properties shows uh, the properties of the fields in uh, your screens. Then Toolbox is where you can drag components onto your screens. So to get started, uh, we want to run the screensaver real quickly. Here's a, a small view of what it looks like. It, it'll uh, have here is the will be the RSS feed. RSS stands for really simple syndication, and what it is, it allows a website to post uh, expose a, a file or some uh, method <coughs> to the rest of the world. And so your desktop application can go out to that website, grab that file, it's usually in XML, and uh, display it on your screensaver. And this gives you dynamic content on your screensaver, and here it shows the uh, uh, details of what that file, uh, file is about. So now I'm going to run it. I did it in that small screen because I cannot display. As soon as I move my cursor when I'm running the big one, uh, you're not going to be able to, it'll stop the screensaver from running. So I clicked on the green arrow at the top of the screen to run it. I could have pressed F5. That's compiling the application and now it's running. So it you know, goes through that file one file at a time. So now I move the cursor to stop the application. And that's it for this section.